This year, the Railroad Commission probably saw some of the most public technical challenges that we've seen in a long time. And I think those were brought on by the fact that the industry has grown so much. Since 2008, you've seen this really uh, just, just explosion in activity. I mean, we've tripled the oil production in this state from 2008 to today. We've doubled the natural gas production, and that's come with substantial increase in pipeline activity and midstream development, disposal wells, new oil and gas wells. So when you ask me, is, is the confidence building? I think so, because uh, if you go back to 2008 and all this new activity coming, it has raised questions from people that didn't see this activity before that now are seeing it. The commission is challenged with making sure that our rules and regulations, our practices match that pace. And I think that is probably the challenge that sums up almost everything that we do, not just next year, but the next three, next five years. What do we need to change about what we're doing to become more efficient, to become more effective? I think we charted some of this new territory and, and opened the path forward for how the state and specifically the commission can lead in research and development around seismicity going forward. And we're looking forward uh, to next year and years following to work with the legislature where they have allocated dollars to do additional seismic testing. And even at the commission as well, looking at our, our processes around disposal wells to make sure that we consider uh, seismicity and, and historic geological activity in a way that the people of this state can be confident in. And we conducted a very thorough, very detailed meeting into a lot of the technical basis behind this study. And we did that and put it all on the, on, live on the web. So anybody across the state could watch that meeting happen and could listen to the questions we asked, uh, listen to the dialogue that we had. And I think that leveraged current technology in a way that people across the state could sort of watch, not only watch the sausage being made, but could realize, wow, the, the things that we do here are of a particularly advanced technical nature. And we're trying to address some of these really, um, really modern day challenges around uh, this, this industry. When you talk about the Texas Railroad Commission, you're talking about a, a staff of almost 800 people that specialize in regulating oil and gas and coal mining activity. If you look around the world and you said, what agencies out there have that breadth and that depth of experience, you know, engineers, geologists, scientists, uh, technicians, field personnel, what agency has that amount of personnel with that kind of expertise in this area? I think there are none. I think we are the number one agency in the world that has that kind of technical expertise specifically in this area. I would say it is at a high level transitioning from the, the very proud and storied history of this agency to a, a new phase in this agency's life where we are technologically advanced and we're as efficient and as effective as any agency in the world so that anybody around this state, this nation, and the planet, when they are asking questions about what is best practice, how should regulation be done effectively, they can look at us as a real model for that success.